Manga Wido. My name is Noyota Kiba. I was around four years old when my dad, who likes to gamble, divorced my mom. After that, I'd been living with my mom. I was poor and had scary looking eyes. Because of that, whenever there was any kind of problem, I was the first to be suspected. When I was in elementary school, if there was a book missing from the classroom, people would blame me for it. If something from my classmates' belongings disappeared, people immediately assumed me to be the criminal. Gradually, people from normal families started to avoid me. And after a while, I realized I was only hanging around with guys who were considered to be delinquents. But I never picked pockets or blackmailed anyone. I didn't want to make my mom sad. I did fight when I had to, but I never hurt those who were weaker than I was. That was my pride. I went to a public high school in my neighborhood, so that didn't cost us any money. I somehow managed to graduate. When I showed my mom the graduation diploma, she was crying from happiness. I almost cried too. But after graduation, things were pretty tough. I had been offered a position in the fall of my senior year. But right before graduation, that company went bankrupt. Thanks to that, I was without a job after graduation. From then on, I had to start job hunting again. Man, what luck! It'll be hard to find a job at a time like this. Don't worry, I can earn money for the both of us. I can't do that to you, Mom! I already decided that I would support us both! No, ya. Yeah. I went to talk to my high school teacher about it, and he told me about a certain factory. It was run by the Manwa Corporation. Apparently, the president of the Manwa Corporation was a graduate of my high school, and a former delinquent. He used to be quite the wild guy when he was young, but I hear he's a very respected president. He's also hiring people who have a history with the police. Why don't you give it a try? I was so desperate that I was willing to try anything. I took the job exam, and fortunately, they hired me. That's how I was able to start my life as a working adult, thanks to the president. The president always said it's not about how you look, it's about who you are on the inside, and really didn't seem to care how people looked. In our workplace, there were some people with tattoos or marks or injuries on their faces. There were also people who seemed pretty tough in their own ways. But when I talked to them, they were not scary like the way they looked. They were friendly and taught me how to work well. After work, they would take me out for a meal and stuff. I was able to feel at home right away. But unfortunately, the atmosphere in our workplace suddenly changed after about half a year since I began working there. There was a guy who used to work in the production section, but he retired. The guy that got hired in his place was the worst. His name was Hosokawa. He was six years older than me. He graduated from a good university, and although he had been working at another company, our president scouted him. Osakawa was a distant relative of our president, and from what I heard, he was going to take over the company when our president retired. This Osakawa was serious and good-mannered when the president was around. But this guy became horrible when the president was not around. Hey, Kiba! You got really scary-looking eyes! Don't glare at me like that! Uh, I'm sorry. I wasn't glaring. What? Are you talking back to me? No. Probably there was no company that would hire you. And you came here, didn't you? You should be thankful to our president. Work away like a horse! Yes. If you know your position, then do all this work until the end of the day! No extra pay! What? Uh, this is a bit too much. What? You're just a high school graduate! Don't talk back to me! I graduated from an elite university! If you can't get this done, you'll be fired! When the president wasn't there, it was as if he had a double personality. He changed his attitude suddenly. He did whatever he liked when the president was not around. 
He used all of us like slaves. Fortunately, my co-workers helped me out. So the job got done. Somehow. After that, Mosakawa would verbally abuse us with words like trash and baggage for the taxpayers. Our president was mostly running around in order to do sales. It was rare for him to be in the office. We wondered whether to report Hosokawa's attitude to the president or not. But the president treated him like his son and had high hopes for him. We were all grateful to the president and couldn't bring ourselves to report him about the terrible behavior of his relative. And it's only been about a month since Hosokawa came here. Maybe things will calm down. Maybe the president would notice what's going on. We made excuses for ourselves like that and didn't take any action. But since we weren't doing anything about it, Hosokawa did as he liked. I thought about punching him several times, but since we're in the countryside, we would have no other place to work if we were fired. And we put up with him somehow. After a while, I got better at ignoring Hosokawa's harassment. Then two new guys joined our place. There was one who obviously looked like a former juvenile delinquent called Suda. The other was a skinny guy named Kubota. Hosokawa grinned when he had a look at them both. After that, things got really bad. Hey, Suda! I told you to deliver these! What? I hadn't heard about that. I did tell you for sure! I guess a junior high school graduate can't even understand Japanese! I did graduate from high school! What? Don't talk back to me, you former delinquent! Do as you're told! Take that! Uh -huh. You don't need to kick me! I was working with Suda the whole day, but Mr. Hosokawa, you didn't give him that instruction at all! Shut up! Don't try and come for your delinquent buddy, you trash! On another day... Hey, come over here, Kubota! Yes? There's a mistake here, too! Can't you enter the numbers correctly? Uh, well, that's not my job. What? I can't hear you! Why don't you talk from your stomach, you skinny dude? Mr. Hosokawa! Mr. Takagi is in charge of that, not Kubota! What? Shut your mouth! Don't you talk back to me! We were so fed up with Mr. Hosokawa who used every chance he could to harass us. Sorry. You got yelled at by Mr. Hosokawa today too, right? I couldn't be there for you. Sorry. No. I got used to it now. <laughs> Don't worry. Actually, sorry. If you hadn't been there, I'm sure I would have beaten him up a long time ago. <laughs> I don't know how many times I've wanted to do that myself. But the president likes him. And he's a candidate for the next president. I hope he'll change his ways soon. Well, I guess a company is a complex thing. It was so much easier when I was in a gang. Gang? Oh, well, I used to do some pretty crazy things and got in trouble with the police. Uh, but that's a long time ago. Oh, I see. Oh, Mr. Kiba. Didn't you just think... That's what I thought just now? No, no. I didn't think that. Well, maybe a little bit. I guess I can't say much either since I got really bad looking eyes myself. <laughs> right! Hey, you should deny that part. With a conversation like that, I was able to become friendly with Suda and Kubota. But then, things became even more serious. It was after we'd finished a big project and we were celebrating at the office. Well done, both of you! Yes, good job to us! Cheers! Well, this is a Coke, actually. Cheers! The adults were drinking beer and those underage were drinking Coke to celebrate. <laughs> hey! I guess you guys at the bottom of society can have a good time with such cheap beer! What kind of alcohol do you actually drink usually? Osakawa. 
He came. He just wanted to show off. Hey! What? Pour me a beer, newcomer! Don't you even know how to serve beer? Oh, yes. Ugh, you suck! It's all foam! Uh, Mr. Hosokawa, I'll serve you. Suda, you can go. You can drink with the others over there. What? I want Suda to serve me! Well? You're really good for nothing! Osakawa continued his verbal abuse. He was getting more and more drunk, and his harassment was getting worse. We should have gone to a bar near the train station to celebrate, instead of having stayed here at our workplace. Jeez! It's creepy how people who are stupid protect each other! It's because of people like you that our country's going down! I guess Suda had reached the end of his patience. He glared at Hosokawa. Oh? Wanna fight? A former delinquent is scary. Scary! Suda, stop! That's right! In here is something with a criminal record. I might be attacked! We should all be careful not to get attacked! <laughs> when he was looking at Suda, as he said those words, I was a bit shocked. When Suda said that he had trouble with the police last time, did it mean that he had been arrested? When I looked over at Suda, he looked as if he were ready to throw a punch at Hosokawa. Suda! I intervened between the two. It was then. Kubota turned hard like a stone and pale, and he started shivering. Kubota! Then he suddenly collapsed on the floor. What is this? Is he having convulsions? Hyperventilation? I don't know what's going on, but this was serious. Kubota, come on! Kubota, do you hear me? Breathe slowly. Take your time. As we rubbed his back and talked to him, Kubota slowly started to recover. But he kept on mumbling things like, No, I paid for it. I'm not responsible. I didn't commit a crime. I heard later that the guy with a criminal record was Kubota. He had been forced to play a game of thieves with class delinquents, and the person he stole from fell down and was injured badly. I had always wondered why a skinny and gentle looking guy like him was working here. I see. Other companies wouldn't hire him because of his police record. When Hosokawa said criminal record, Kubota must have had a flashback and panicked. Are you alright? Do you want some water? Uh, thank you. Uh, I'm alright. You're not alright. You should lie down on the sofa. The other co-workers came around Kubota. Oh, the president. The president had returned. What happened, Kubota? What is this? Actually, Mr. Hosokawa. Suda suddenly lost his temper and hit him! What? What are you saying? I didn't hit anyone! Don't lie! Shut up! You don't believe what a former delinquent says, do you, President? Is Hosokawa trying to hide what he did? I was so angry that I pointed to something that was at the corner of the room. Mr. President, let's check that out. We installed that last week because there have been incidents of burglaries in the neighborhood recently. There was a surveillance camera that was recording the entire office. When Mr. Hosokawa saw what I was pointing at, he said, It wasn't me, and ran off. Afterwards, we checked the surveillance camera, and Suda's innocence was proven. We talked to the president about everything that Hosokawa had done to us until now. I apologize for everything. The president gathered all the workers and apologized to us from the bottom of his heart. It's unacceptable to abuse one's co-workers. I feel ashamed, especially since he was my relative. I will fire him, so please, forgive me! That is how Hosokawa was let go. I thought that the president would protect his relative, but he did what was right. If he was going to act so quickly, maybe we should have told him much sooner. After Hosokawa left our workplace, Things return to normal. We can now work in peace. As for Osakawa, 
I hear he can't find himself a job. He's coming back to beg the president to get his job back. If I had knew he was like that, I would have never have hired him. He never showed that side when I was around. I am so sorry. Well, no. It was just for a few months. It's a relief that you fired him so quickly. I'm glad that you fired him before I beat him up. Thank you. Hey, Suda. Don't say such a thing before the president. <laughs> if you didn't beat him up, then no problem. Things were getting pretty serious at one point. But with our president, this company should be fine. I'll work hard to pay back our president for his kindness.